have in front of me here a product called a Mark 3 to Mark 4 LNB adapter. Basically, it comes in this plastic bag here. Um, it just there's two plastic parts with here. The plastic insert and there's a nut and bolt with it. Okay. Now the reason that this product is on the market is purely and utterly because um, back in 2008, Sky made the decision to change to change the design of their Sky satellite dishes. The main part of the dish the design stayed, but the LMB arm and the LMB holder here, that is that part had changed from being a Mark III push-in to a Mark IV snap-on. So basically, if I hold up the two arms here, we'll say this here is the Mark III, where the LMB used to actually push in to this holder here, and it was inserted in like this. This is a Mark III LMB, okay? And the new Mark IVs are quite different because they actually snap on. So you push it down over and it snaps into location. Uh, so it's just what we have here, which I was demonstrating the dish earlier. That's actually just snapped into position, okay? Not quite sure why they made the design uh, change, but the design change that they'd made. So something else that people might not have noticed about the design change they made at that point as well is that the size of the neck of the LNB changed from being 40 millimeters, which is absolutely universal, uh, right across the industry to being a 37 millimeter neck. So this caused obvious problems um, uh, in terms of uh, universal LMBs. It's difficult to use them with sky dishes now and there's no, uh, some other complications like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk about a situation where somebody has a single LMB and um, they want to actually, it's a Mark III type, so that these two LMBs here that I have in front of you are both Mark III single LMBs and a situation where you want to actually take this LMB and use it on a new Mark IV satellite dish, okay? Now, um, is it possible to do so? Well, it would appear not, simply because this one will push in nicely into the Mark III dish, but obviously will not work at all with a Mark IV. You could tie it on with a piece of plastic or whatever like that, but not a good idea, okay? You want sort of a hassle-free environment. So, one of these, it's possible to use this adapter, and this one here, it's not possible to upgrade it to a Mark IV LMB, simply because the arm that's on it is molded, and it's not possible to change it. Okay, can you see that? It's actually built into the LMB, the actual feed arm or the actual LMB holder. Uh, if we put that down and we move on to th this, uh, uh, you can see there's an LMB here with a holder that's actually just screwed on afterwards like this. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm simply going to pick up this Phillips screwdriver and I take off this holder here and I come along and I'm just going to partially assemble this LMB holder here now. Like that. And what we'll actually do is, I'm just going to slide it in here. And you can see here, this slides down quite nice. And what I do is, I take, I drop my nut in here to the top. There's actually a holder for that nut. And I push the screw in from the base. And then we just get my Phillips screwdriver. And I just screw that LMB in like that. Okay? We just lock it into possession. Now it's important here that you just get the skew angle outright. So before you take off the holder, just check what the skew angle was at and then try to replace that skew angle. So it, that's somewhat uh, significant in terms of um, the signal reception you'll get, okay? So the important thing to remember here is that this is a 40 millimeter neck. Now, one other use that you can possibly have for this thing is, uh, instead of just using with standard LMBs, you can actually come along and quattro LMBs, which is used in conjunction with a multi-switch switch, will also use this, uh, work with this adapter. So if you had a sky dish there, it might, may be possible to come along, put a quattro LMB with this adapter onto the sky dish and use it with a multi-switch setup. Now a sky dish is a little bit small for that to work, but it is possible that it would work. So hopefully anyway, that's been a fairly comprehensive overview of why you would use um, uh, that Mark III to Mark IV adapter uh, and how it would actually be installed.